What's up, guys? It's Brent back here, and we are playing some modest list fire. So, Jester, once again, let's try this. Got killed by sloth last time. You know, seven deadly sins. I know they were powerful, but at the same time, grizzly sin, really? No. Um, I'm not really excited. You know what? Hat, as much as I think you're good. Additional card draw is always good. However, I make my deck's pretty fat anyway. So, I want going the high risk, high reward. Boom. Curse key. <sighs> Very good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited or not about that. Curse key is one of the better energy relics. Uh, the least negatives. Also, this path. Um, two elites. Uh, yeah. Mm, th mm, two. Yes. I can count. I'm thinking the middle one. That's... Uh, well... Okay, so the outside route is nigh, uh, not as good. Uh, that left side actually has a lot of campfires. A lot of early upgrades, let's go for it. Early, some early question marks. Um, also, why do we have tricky dodge to start with? Weird. Huh. Oh, I guess that was the pick from Pan Flute? I'm kind of okay with that. Maybe we'll build into... Um, that the whatchamacallit deck, the status deck, if I can think of the words. Uh, one, one dodge here, strike here, strike here, and we are good. Also, hello truck, make the beep beep noise. Why don't you? Um, oh, I do not think we will, we will not get through his defenses today. But, yeah, we are going to try this again. Not... I, I can't tell, really, the power level of the Jester. On one hand, I feel like he could be good. He's just missing some, like, key points that would make him really good. Uh, I think I'm going to go Butter Knife. I've not picked this one up yet, so let's try it. Um, heal, obtain a relic, take the regret. We're going to have a bunch of curses anyway. Duct tape. Okay. Um, well, I don't really... Maybe these two... Damage, block, and two recycles? Sure. We'll upgrade that. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but why not? Um, strike, 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 dodge. Tricky dodge is actually pretty good. You just have to remember to play it at the end of your turn. So it's not as good in a draw-centric deck, but this is pretty good. All right, duct tape. Okay, so it does discard two of them, one after another. Okay. I'm not, like, opposed to it. Regret hits us for one. Regret's not that bad. In terms of, like, statuses you, we could be getting, not terrible. Or in terms of curse we could have got. Like, Sloth, I was trying to think of it after I was playing, um, took a couple minute break um, between recordings, since I kind of batch record. Um, I was trying to think of a deck that could, like, survive using Sloth, but over time, there's just, if you get a hand with one energy, you, there's no way to really like pop through it unless maybe you had like an adrenaline or something like that with the silent But it was not very good. Why do you draw this card? Draw two cards. Unplayable. What's it? Okay uh, So if you're weak and deal same as damage again, that's what I'm gonna go for That's the kind of cards we're looking for here Okay um, Strike uh, Butter knife butter knife this one defend defend Got to clear out the hand for regret. The early uh, energy has been really nice from Curse Key. I'm not opposed. Okay, we'll do this. Do this. Drop two. Rebuff is active because we're weakened because of the enemy. And there's an easy cleanup. Hopefully we'll get more Butter Knife, another weakened one. We don't have a lot of weakened. I'm kind of just really liking the Butter Knife. I don't know why. It's just one for nine. But I'll take the cards that fit the actual synergy we're going for. Another Icosahedron, pretty nice. Set it right this time, surprisingly. Um, we're gonna go upgrade the duct taped one because that's, I feel like you're upgrading two cards for one. So, might as well get the most bang for a buck. Okay, um, I don't really need to defend. Let's play this, let's play this. It's kind of like a, if, so I don't want either one of these cards. It's like a discard two, you're drawing, for, oh, I guess you're only drawing two. Because one procs to discard the one, then you're discarding two of them for two. So 
It has that downside. Alright, we're gonna trick you here. Bunch of block, but 10 damage. So, that's pretty nice. Um, so it's not as... It, if they all stacked at once, like if it w went incrementally, say we would discard three, but draw three, it'd be much better. You can't just use it to, like, refill your hand. Which is, I guess, balanced in that way. Okay. We'll have to get a bunch of block. Okay. Butter knife, but, like, right there, like, we do this. Hopefully, we'll, yep, we drop the regret, and then we drop two more. So we get the rebuff back. Could I kill him? Six, seven, no. I'm one short. That's fine. We had some block already. So more sources of weakness would be nice. Bronze. Gain one weak right there. Weaken everyone else. When this card is discarded, three damage to random enemy. Exhaust. What's the difference? Oh, to all. When this when you discard a card, deal three damage. Uh I think about that smoke screen. We're not building as much into the discard meta. What's this upgrade to? Three to all enemies? Eh. Twelve damage, pretty good. Um, these are kind of our damage engines, though. Uh, they're the, the weakened version of the, uh, discard one. Pain, fine. Bag of prep, two additional cards. Okay, lose most rain, retain a relic. Speed, I'll lose the speed potion. Horn cleat, 14 block on turn two. Yep, pretty good. I like it. The equivalent to the Anka, as it would be. All right, um, what do I want to do here? Strike, strike. Hit with this. All right, we just cut a bunch. Smoke screen. Ooh, we could put him on a two-turn weakness clock. We might as well give him the weakness over three, six more damage, right? Because he will hit us next turn, right? Yeah, let's try that. The weakness this turn does not affect us either, so so that'll keep us kind of from blocking, having to block this turn. That strike, and I will play this just because it's so much block. Alright, I can't get weakness on myself, so strike, strike, that. We do not want to buff him anymore, because this fight will go on a little longer than I probably want it to. Strike, strike, gross. To defend and the regret. Vulnerability, okay. We really want to hit him hard this turn. Um, let's see what we draw. Okay, uh, rebuff, okay. Um, tricky dodge. We're buffed deals 14. I can't kill him, but we're blocked. So we'll get him this turn. Uh, yeah. Let's see, we have a bunch of strikes. And I think they count that as a attack now. So, lightning in a bottle, choose a skill that is in our opening hand. I think smoke screen to open up with weakness across the board. Discard your hand, draw that many cards next turn. Does it become zero? Then I'll make or break it. Oh, it does. Just play it like at the end of your turn. It's pretty good. I'm wondering if the the weakness engine like this is really good. Play this. Bam bam. Bam bam. Also why oh we have the pain. Um nine damage here. I can't block it all. But I don't have to play the regret, so. Oh it exhausts though, so I've gotta keep that in mind. Okay, uh, nine damage coming in. Tricky dodge, I'll take that. Oh, we already had the 14 from Horn Cleat. Bad move, we lost a lot of damage this turn. Sorry, no. Didn't take any more. Okay. Duct tape on the pain, maybe? Ooh, yep, cool. Then we'll tricky dodge. And do that. So pretty much, it's like uh, the one we played twice goes from dealing 10 to dealing 14, so it's an additional four, um, if we're applying the weakness to ourselves, Trance, just hit to a random enemy. Discard the top card from your draw pile. If it's a skill, play Trance again. Okay. So that's pretty good. So it, it, it uh, prioritizes skills, which is kind of interesting. Hit him here, let's see what we, we drop. Uh, not the best. Okay, woke him up. He has weakness, so he's not going to deal as much damage this turn. 
I need something to improve the amount of weakness we put on the enemy. Okay. So, try, what is... Let's play this. Attack, till dam 10 damage. And it didn't play itself again. That cast things. Um, we're not weak. But we could be. Gain the block. We didn't need it because we had Horn Cleat again. Gonna play an additional strike. So, oh, it should have been two more damage. It's not like the end of the world. Keeping him perpetually weak is like great. Should have played that at the end of the turn again. Misordering. Ouch. Okay, we'll hit him with trance first. Okay, we played it. Oh, can they? Yeah, you can really like stack that as a finisher. Okay, I want to hit him for damage. Of course, we pulled up the regret. Ouch. That sucks. All right, down to nine. Ugh. We got deal 40. I don't think we'll get it this time. If I can block for eight, still die. Yep. But I like seeing the trance. Yep. Misplayed. We'll jump into another one. It's only been a couple minutes. Try again. Jester's pretty, like, I see some of the other cards that we haven't got to see yet, and I can see some of the builds. Uh, we'll do three. And these are our next three combats. Have one HP, early elite, maybe? Ooh, okay. So two elite path, I think is the best. Yep. And there's a really nice question mark path over here. Like, hit him. We, uh, we won't get him, but we'll be prepared for him when we get there. All right, let's see what cards we can get. Smoke screen, added detonation to, to your uh, playoffs. When drawn. That's kind of cool. To your draw pile. I kind of like this if you can cycle through it. We'll try it. I haven't seen this card yet, so why not? Zaboom. Okay, attack potion. Hit and run, I liked. A lot. It's really good. Uh, take the doubt. That's fine. We'll probably get away to this card if we can. Sickle strike done. Mending. Whenever you discard a card, game will block. Super good. An eight. Oh, it is. Yep. Discard deck. Okay. Two. Hmm. Yeah. Let's choose one of ten. I need oblivion strikes. Really good. Um, yeah, I think that's what I want to go to. Correct. All right, hi peeps, or peoples, as you would be. Next turn 12, so I need to remember that. We're going to be weak next turn, so. And then we'll defend. So that'll save us a lot. Hit runs just good. The problem is we front a lot of the damage since it is next turn. Okay, play this. Uh, one defend is fine. One strike. So now as we discard, we're going to gain advantage. All right. Um, I think I want to do that. Gain that. Oblivion Strike is live, so we'll light the wick. And then we'll do this. Because the, the bombs, I think, they don't exhaust. So we can keep drawing into them. They kind of clog up our deck a little bit, I guess, in a way. That sucked to draw the doubt. Um, however, they also deal 10 damage to everyone, so if you can get like 3 or 4 of them in there, it'd be really good. Defend, strike, bad hand. I guess I could power attack potion, but I'm kind of saving them for the emer Emerald Elite fight. Hit and run. Yeah, we can hit him, do this. We'll take 9 more, but we're starting to fill up our discard pile with those. Okay, so yep, hit and run this time. We got the 12 block, which is enough to block this now. We're on the, the better side of this fight now. Except when you have turns like this. So many dazes. What kind of hand is this? Like, seriously. I know there was, like, they put dazes in your deck, but I've been drawing, like, three every turn. Okay, here we go. So 10 damage to all enemies. Here's all our cards, finally. We're going to Sickle for damage. Okay. Strike, and strike. You're done. Don't need to defend. Oh, and the detonates do exhaust, though. Okay, nice to know. Two of these. So you can't just, like, fill your deck up with them, unfortunately. 
So it's like a one cast, 10 damage to all enemies, delayed. So upgrading it would be much better. And they're done. Not. They're close to done. <laughs> we'll front nine more damage. Hit and run, boom. Oh, 10 damage from the detonate. Xylophone, winner. Ooh, X effect card. Okay. Mending would be awesome. Because it just, it scale, like the amount of block we can build a discard deck. There's so many tools for that. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Butterfly Dan. Extra attack skills and powers and They cost zero. No, but that would be good for discard. Discard father or father. Ooh, another regret. It's kind of, oh no, we only have the, we have the doubt. I think I'd rather take the max HP here. It's not usually my play. Um, oh, we could get two more elites actually. Be kind of risky. Let's do that though. Gremlin knob kind of stinks, but great turn. Do I do this now though for three? Uh, I could upgrade all cards in my hand. I could put in some heavy damage this turn. I think it's better like that and then wait. Strength this. I should have used the attack potion first. Let's see what we get here. Um, if I'm weak, I'm not gonna be weak. Actually, I'm gonna be vulnerable at some point though. Uh, I'll just take nine damage here. And we'll do that. Okay, if I had something like Anchor, I'd be way more tempted. That's a skill, so I don't want to play it. Um, we got 15 here. Play it, just so it'll cycle through. 10 damage is 10 damage. Um, sickle. Oh, gross. Should have wanted to hit the other one. And then we draw two defense. Unfortunate. 24 damage. <sighs> Bad turn. We should have popped the vulnerability the first turn. Ouch. Down to 16. Um... Can I wrap this up if I wanted to? 12, a four, four, four. Uh, okay. Throw this. Four, so these would go up to six. So 12, 20. Oh, I can't. Oh, I just dead again? And it dropped the one I wanted. Ouch. Dead again. Right when we were, had like a fun build going. Man. One more. We're still 18 minutes in, so usually uh, I like to get to at least a 20 minute. Quick games though, you can start seeing more of the cards. I sucks that we lost that Exilophone build. Exilophone is just such a fun uh, relic. Uh, elites, elites, elites. Uh, two, okay. Bunch of rests. And then a light shop to the Hexaghost. Okay, All right here. I could actually, uh, that's three, so I'd have to go here. That's fine though. See if we can get the snipe out the elite. Uh, Oblivion Strike. Let's go for it. It's just a great card. Obtain Towel. Awesome to start with. Being able to pick out some of our relics is really good. Um, we will drop. We're at 4 4. Uh, we'll drop the basic defend, because I think the dodge is better. And just like front loading extra damage in the beginning is just really good. <laughs> Whenever John. Ah, about to die. I, I, I want more damage. Okay. Hit him. So dodge. Contradiction. Whenever you become game. Ooh. So these are like. Boom. Like really good. Does it become two strength? It's innate. And what do you do? You do 10 damage. How often can I do that though? Whenever you, but enemies do that to me already. So even if I just play it to benefit from what they're doing to me in general, it's still pretty good. I don't technically have to um, do it to myself. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. I think we're more equipped for this Gremlin knob fight. Yeah, because we can Contradiction right there. Sickle, the Bouncing Knife is the one we want to hit. And Oblivion Strike, Bouncing Knife. Good turn. Yep, so we gain one strength because he made us vulnerable. Okay. I like it. Blood Vial or Pin Nib. I think I want just the extra healing after every combat. 
Pendip's pretty good, but I just don't think we have the big, heavy dealing damage cards. There we go. So I'm still going to continue to build into this discard kind of meta. Contradiction, sickle, hit the wrong one, strike, strike. I should have played strike, strike, sickle, so we got some block. Hindsight's always 20 20. And then both these do about the same. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and sickle. I'm not afraid to lose any of those. Actually, that was probably the worst moment I lost. And again, strike. Okay. Um, Oblivion strike. Just not the best draws. We're draw we added damage, and I wanted damage, but we're drawing only into it. Okay. There we go. Hit you, hit you. Keep the slime, that's fine. Another, we are getting strength, so it is kind of working like intended. Oh, he's dead. Okay, gain 10 gold exhaust. Does it become zero? Gain 15 gold exhaust. Eh. It's just kind of nice. If it didn't exhaust, you better smoke strain. The extra weak to myself is kind of liked. Because it doesn't exhaust, it's kind of nice. Hmm, simple. Okay, living strike. 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 Vulnerability would have been good that turn since we have two of them. Could have been worth it. We're going to actually throw this on here. Smoke screen to weaken you. Contradiction. Attack. 13 damage. Ouch. Did not as much, like, as readily take advantage of the vulnerability. Dodge. Bouncing knife. Good. Okay. Five more. <sighs> Getting down to 12. And he's healing that sicko. Oof. I said, do not hit the Illuminate Strike. I will be so upset. Okay. It, it might be another quick one. 13 coming in because he's weak. Um, we're okay. Continue the weakness on him. The defend to keep us alive. Hit him for what? He's healing every turn, though. Oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. We really need to hit the right cards here. Not the right card. Not the right card. Ah, we'll be down to one. So, oh, and, but he's not attacking, so this is kind of the turn to do it. All right, Oblivion Strike's really nice here. Strike, oh, okay. Attack, oh, we, we won't get one. We did get one, but it's not gonna help. We need a hand with like two attacks, or one attack, that's good. Potion Belt, meal ticket, yeah, we need to heal. Bouncing knife. Okay. Yeah, we need to go to the rest. Mysterious peanut, peanut butter. At the start of each card, gain temporary HP. That's pretty good. No, peanut butter. It is eight, like, temporary HP is a lot of uh, HP to save every combat. Actually, pretty dang good. And I'm pretty happy we did all, like, both those elites. Okay, then we got, yeah, this rest will give us some more HP. That'd be pretty good. All right. Contradiction. Sickle. Bouncing knife, thank you. Smoke screen. Strength. Bouncing knife. Yeah, now we're only taking one here when we would have taken, yeah, all nine. Really good. Oh, gotta love hands like that. When it just hits the right one. Uh... Recycle to exhaust bouncing. Allow us to discard more of our hand, but I just I can't like justify it. Uh, do I anger? I think I anger the mushrooms. Hard fight, I will admit it's gonna be a hard one, but I think they make us kind of frail and vulnerable. So I really just want to lay out the damage first. Not taking anything yet. Oh, they're another gaining strength. They don't do anything like that. But this is great. Two to all of them. We gain a strength. I can thin one here. And then I can almost kill. It's going to make us vulnerable if I kill it. Um, I actually just don't want to take any damage. He's going to gain the strength now. 
All right. Uh, dodge. Yep, there we go. Good drop. Um, hit. Ooh, let's actually sickle first. The log the targets. Okay, nope. Eight to him. I'm fine with that. And he's doing ten now. I can't block it, but that's fine. Ooh, 18. That's terrible. Alright, block. Oblivion strikes on. And then we can weaken everyone for more. More strength. The weakness is really nice. Since it does it to all of them. Mm-hmm. Both doing nine. Terrible. Okay. Defend, I think. Because I can't kill him with one guy. Actually, I can't. Not bad. And odd mushrooms is good. When Vroom will take 25% more damage rather than 50. So yeah. So us becoming vulnerable does not hurt. And Cultist Potion is almost like a great thing to have to win a boss fight. Squander, I still think it's just really good. It didn't like... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> it didn't pull through for us last time we did it. Oh, Juzu, Thorns, Extra Strength, all really good rollings. Um, I think I'm going to take Juzu Bracelet. And then we're going to remove something. Probably a basic strike. Um, I was going to say Squander didn't really do as much, but I think it's because our deck was just so big. A doubt for 175. That's fine. And Smith. Smoke strength 3 to everyone's pretty good. Contradiction being an 8, though, is what I want. I need that extra strength. Yeah, like right here. Um, I only get one, so we'll do the six. Should have done that first. I could have got a hair more damage. It's, it's fine. I took 20, 20. 12 damage here. Gonna hurt. Problem with these two is they're both unplayable. Like, if I had a draw card... Actually, we're not gonna take anything because of the peanut butter. Um, if I had some kind of draw potion or something where I could discard them, it'd have been great. <laughs> oh, bouncing knife's gone. Great. I think I'll go ahead and play the strike so I could sickle. Higher chance to hit the bouncing knife. Oh, and sickle again. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then two more because we pull up the inspiration. Not bad. The defend was like the only mystery card in that hand. Okay, we're going to weaken you because weakening him is good. Should have striked first, but actually I'm going to block so I keep my perfect here. Okay, um, four. Let's go ahead and do this. I say there's a lot of good targets to lose. The death's actually not bad because it does weaken us. Now that we have the the contradiction going, um, it's pretty nice. So I'm okay with that. Now hands like this kind of stink. When you can't like, when you you become with like a bricked hand, and it's pretty high to actually for that to happen. Smoke screen. Let's dodge because there's a lot of good targets, and then sickle because there's still good targets. Doubt is gone, which is fine. Like. Yes, the advantage, let's not lose the perfect, um, of having the extra strength is good, naturally. However, it's also good to um, not be weak all the time. And I should have done that in a different order, but... Oh, we're going to lose our perfect right here. Didn't draw no draw. I mean, didn't draw no defense. Didn't draw no draw. Okay, do that. That sucks. Hmm. <laughs> That's the uh, brick tan. If if I ever uh, seen one, down to seven. But I think we can wrap it up. Ooh, those burns are gonna suck. Ooh, six damage here. Ooh, burn plus. Mmm, lovely. Um, I can't discard anything. I can go play another defend because that's four ten. Right, we're good there. Yeah, fleas not really came in too too clutch yet. Oh, yeah. Well, that stinks. Yeah, the burns just, I guess I should have cultist potions. I didn't think I needed the ritual, but that is it again. Ah, <sighs> that was a sad one. There was like so many potentially interesting things that we could have done. Anyways, update logo test. Um, has the game we've been playing. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.